would it be a fast Augusta or similar and just not, position? Not really. It it's, has a oh, oh yo, yo, yo. goodness has a kind of because it's so hard and fast and so undulating has a kind of a you know, the flat links feel to it. Mark Leishman at the eighth. After that wicked horseshoe. Beautifully judged from up on top of the hill. Now for birdie at eight. A little frustration. Hooped it at seven. Still a solid round. Oh, 30 yard bunker shot. That should grab. Yeah, he's played well here. Four top 10 finishes in the 11 events. Stay up. Ah, good finish there. Nice birdie for Mark Leishman, a ball striker. Lost shot on the previous hole. Mark Leishman. We pick him up here at 16, and that one narrowly missing the cup. Leishman on the back nine was coming off birdie at 15. Thought he might have had two in a row. At two, Mark Leishman, four under par, working 17. Leishman trying to get this to the front portion of the putting surface. And he has done a fine job of that. 154 coming in, pulls this one right back down that slope. And it gives him a great chance to see if he can pick up a back at 13. Leishman, all important par putt. That would have kept him at seven under. So the Aussie will drop a shot further back. That's a rare miss for Mark Leishman. That club there. We go to 17. And Aussie Mark Leishman has a putt for birdie to get to seven under, Frank. At 15 feet, good approach. Wonderful putter, big strong fella, long hitter. And that's some more money to the Aussie Fires and the charity. On the south, on the much harder of the two. Shot 73 yesterday on the north, but rebounds today with 300 par 69. Birdie for Leishman, too. They get Leishman up to 800. Leishman for back to back birdies to start his round, get to minus 10. All right, we have another guy in double digits. 33 start, that's outstanding. Birdie start for Mark Leishman now at the third tee. Yeah, no, on Australia Day, 26th of January. When it's already about Tuesday in Australia. Leishman to go three under the first three. It's a tie for the lead. Just, uh, he's got serious motivation. He's Australia Day. He's trying to put together funds for the uh, the fire tragedy down in in Australia. Well, they are. They are. They do have funds, rather. They have, they're fully organised. So uh, any contribution will be greatly appreciated. Now Leishman at the fourth. <laughs> I mean, we've seen some incredible shots so far. That, that shattered the flagstick. Now, this is Leishman to tie for the lead. Awesome start if you can go in. Wow, three under three, four. Nearly four under three, four. He had about a six footer on the previous hole, just missed it. And this group has the, the wrong momentum. Over to the six now, Leishman, the leader. Yeah, beauty. Yeah. Likes it. Beauty down the middle of the fairway. Should be able to. Easily get home in two. Gonna be right around 230 yards out. Now Mark Leishman at the sixth hole, third shot, eagle pitch. 
We saw Patrick Reed just knock it in for Eagle there. That's going to be an easy birdie. So Leachman should get to 12 under. Leachman at the six is for a two-shot lead. And that guy is playing the best of anybody on the golf course. Four under par for the round so far. Leader Mark Leishman on the tee here at the eighth. Ooh. Middle. Easiest hole location on the screen. Put and it just right of the hole. And that's why, Davis. Thank you. And information as we move through this final round. We go to the eighth. And Mark Leishman, hot guy on the course, continues his barrage. Five under through eight. Davis Love, what you got here? Well, critical to get your layup number right. He's laid up pretty far back. This top left hole location has to hit something in there with no spin. Oh, well, he went for it. Good on him, but you see that ridge. You see the slight color change. It's almost like two paces short of the hole. He tried it, tried to play a low runner, and it didn't quite come off. It's calm, cool, and collected. And as I said, this is a comfortable group for these guys. Everybody's a calm, cool character and having a lot of fun out here. He's into the round, Jim, but I don't think he's caught fire yet. And there's plenty of time with a reachable five coming. Over at 11. And our leader, Mark Leishman, a little lower one here, trying to penetrate that breeze Dottie talked about. Great shot. Yeah. He had a long wait on that tee. He had time for two wardrobe changes and still hit an incredible shot. Mark was very interested in watching Tony's putt to get a read on this one. And it's another one in the hole. Mark Leishman now 14 under. Six under on his round. We pick up Leishman at the 12th. Out of the rough into an upslope. He has to really get through this ball to get it to cruise up the hill. Oh, it's not going to climb. Just scrapes the top, but what's that? 20 feet, still more to go. The modern yardage books have a lot of information on the greens, which way it's going to break. He's just trying to confirm it. Oh, how about that for a four? I'm just going to say, if you're going to, if you're going to spend one, if you're going to make a bogey, make one here, it doesn't matter. Not losing much on the field. And he does that. Confirmed. Leishman continuing his assault on the south course. Really good bunker player. Should be able to handle this one. Well, it's a tough bunker shot because he was far enough back in, in the flat part of the bunker that he had to use some speed and he did just that. It's a lot easier to arc it on that line if you have level shoulders. Now Leishman. I mean, another way. I mean, just calmly going along. What a day for Leishman. Birdie number seven. That new hybrid that he put in the bag this week, the 265 club. Now Leishman for par. Oh boy, again. Davis, that's what you used to do when you were playing against Nick and I, holding all those putts. <laughs> en route to those 64s. This putt for par for our leader. Done it again. Hey, it's just every, everything yeah. today is on. Three mega pars, 12, 14, and 15. Usually with a left to right ball flight, liking to move this in one in from right to left, just catches that slot. And that's in pretty good position and getting better by the minute. Smart shot, wasn't it? Can't get over into too much trouble over there as you can if you short side yourself left. That was uh, some sort of round, and I know I enjoyed calling that. So Leishman's going to take a pre-shot lead. Good lie, Davis. He's got a great lie, and I've been impressed. He's missed a lot of fairways, but he's kept the ball underneath the hole all the way in. He's done it again there. Second in scrambling all week, first in putting. As Rom is out there with a chance, you know, he's got his eagle this hole before, as we know. So Leishman. Land it long, spin it back. It's going to be perfect. Oh, that's a great shot. When you got Rom sitting back there with two holes to play. Crucial is this now to get back to two in oh, front. Yes. So John Rom, Eagle three at the last to tie. 